Hi, my name is Bill Davidson and I'm currently employed by New South Wales Department of Primary Industries under a five-year project funded by the Grange Research and Development Corporation. The primary aim of this project is to develop new uses for existing herbicides for weeds in the northern grain growing region in New South Wales. Some of the key weed species to be investigated are flaxleaf fleabane, common sow thistle, ornless barnyard grass and feather tops road grass. These species have become very troublesome in cropping fallows due to the development of resistance or elevated tolerance to glyphosate. With limited alternative chemical options, the project will develop data sets for satisfactory treatments with the aim to obtain registration of these new treatments. Within the scope of this project, I'm conducting a master's research degree with the University of Queensland to investigate in particular the synergistic combination of two herbicide mode of actions from herbicide groups H and L. Anecdotal evidence has shown that the combination of these modes of actions results in highly effective weed control of windmill grass, common south thistle and flax leaf fleabane. Initial investigations will be based in glasshouse conditions to screen a range of treatments under controlled environmental conditions to ensure ample weeds and consistency of weed health and growth stage. Herbicides will be applied using a calibrated handheld boom spray and assessments made to gauge treatment effects, which will be completed on at least two intervals after treatment. Depending on the, the success of the initial experimental work, the refined res research will be conducted mainly under fallow field conditions to ensure the proposed treatments are consistently effective for commercial situations. In the latter part of the research work, Experiments will be designed to optimise treatment efficacy by studying the effects of weed growth stage and herbicide rate. This project and subsequent research work has significant commercial benefits to the entire cropping regions of Australia. Although this project is focused on northern cropping weeds, mainly found in northern New South Wales and southern Queensland, the implications will extend nationally as new herbicide registrations will cover all Australian states. The necessity of this work will be a key outcome for farmers contending with herbicide resistant weeds. Of greatest concern is the spread and development of many glyphosate resistant weed species. Glyphosate was seen as the cornerstone of weed management or minimum or no tillage fallows. Its effectiveness is steadily declining and alternatives need to be developed. To date a few cases of paraquat resistant are present but mainly in pasture based systems and no resistant to group H herbicides is reported.